Need to come up here. Hopefully the uh, dryer isn't coming through too bad. If it is, I'll have to figure something out. But for now, I think we're fine. Uh, pop something on the Twitter real quick while we're waiting for people to kind of come in. Although I did announce real late, so I'm not even sure if it'll actually if we'll actually get anyone. So, while well, I wait for, see if anyone comes in, uh, even if people don't, I'm still going to do some, some USPW. Oh, dryer stopped anyway. Well, there you go. That solves that problem. All right, so we are just going through. Let me just double check what we did last time. Show history. That's right, we got to our pay-per-view and had a very disappointing pay-per-view because uh, Nikki Champion and Steve Freely had a shipment event and my storylines are bombing. So really, everything's going terribly, and I'm killing the company. I think this storyline's going to be over. Uh, this is going to continue a little bit. I mean, this has to continue, and it's doing decently. We need to get over 77 on both of these. Uh, let's see. Who do we have who is in the main event? Who is any good? Oh, Enigma. Enigma just feuded with Merit. I think we could continue that storyline a little bit. Enigma. Ma versus rich money. All right. And hopefully that does well enough. And just looking here, we got Law, Joss, Melody Freely, and the five-time champion, Natural Storm. Hey, Ruby, how's it going? Thanks for popping in even just for a second. Appreciate it. Oh, this is being weird. Whenever I look to the side like this, I'm looking at X-Split. And it's super being weird right now, but that's fine. Have a good one. All right. So. Probably want to start with a pay-per-view hype. This is what happened. Go watch the replay on Reverie.
Enigma did things. Rich Money did things. Merit did things. All right. Uh, I think then we're going to go into an angle where rich money is going to call out Steve Freely. But Nikki Champion's going to come out. And Nikki Champion and Rich Money are going to argue over who should get a title shot. Ooh, hold on one second. Yep, never mind. Then let's jump right into a match. We'll have, uh, let's start with James Justice here. Oh, we still got these real bad heels here. James Justice and Robert Cage can have a open match. I believe this is Robert Cage's debut. Yes. Roger Cage. Uh, it won't tell me. Never mind. And then after the match. We can have James Justice cut a, actually we'll have Eddie and DC cut a promo on how they want to fight James Justice and Malachi Milk. Yeah. What do we do with for the women's match at the pay-per-view. I did not move it on to Melody. And then we could do like a, not team, sorry. Get a couple of, let's get Gorgon and Tiffany J. We need more heel ladies versus Raven and Missy Masterson. Sure. Just to get Raven a quick win back. Worried about Gorgon being able to wrestle that long, but should be fine. All righty. Then we'll do a little segment on uh, the Force, who is recovering. So it's just Force in a medical facility working out. Screaming, yelling, hitting, punching bags, all that stuff. we need yeah let's do running wolf and colossus actually is there anyone who is oh danny rushmore and colossus and colossus gets a big win Danny Rushmore is on his way out. All right, so that's an hour down. Then we could have Tyson Bain come out. With T-Rex 
and Colossus. And cut a promo on Uh, what is a hell like promo name? Fuck, I know, man. Um, oh, River Sticks. Uh, Cerberus. Sure, because there's three of them. Get it? And that would be Tyson Bane. That would be Colossus. And that would be T Rex. Then we can get Let's move on from that for now. I think we could have Law and Schaefer cut promos on each other here. One being a new champion. And the other wanting his title back. I mean, you give Trent Schaefer a win over. Let's go with American Patriot. Why the heck not? Or the Trent a win here. Uh, Chris Crawfield does not believe that Rich Money should get a title shot. That Rich Money had to resort to buying a Russian just to just to get in here. Let's see, uh, Jumbo Jackson has kind of been doing nothing. Andre Jones has also been doing nothing, but McMuscles is, uh, I got an idea. Backstage, Casey Valentine talks to Jumbo Jackson about retaining his services. champion Joss and Andre Jones being the key people in this match and then you chuck in a running wolf and a Julius Moore this is gonna go lower on the card and Josh Joss sorry is going to retain the television title.
But Andre Jones is going to be attacked. Don't know by who yet. It might be Nelson. Hello, Susan. I have not signed El Medico. I should absolutely sign El Medico. Maybe we could separate out this feud a little bit by doing this. There we go. Then we have a one on one match with Nikki Champion and Rich Money fighting. And Nikki Champion is going to win via DQ. When Merritt attacks. And this will just be Merit destroying Nikki Champion. Uh, we need this to be a storyline match, right? Yeah, Medico, I believe, is the best worker that isn't signed to a major company. Oh, I forgot who I had Zavi tag uh, with. Because I had an idea there. Did I, at the last show, do anything with him? No. No, I did not. Oh, he's going to be Zavi and Cage, but Cage is in a match. Okay. Well, then let's test out the tag team of Nelson and Davis. And they're taking on uh, Rick Law and Chris Caulfield. In a pre-show match that the faces win. Alright, let's run the show. Alright, good. So there's no bad performance there, or bad chemistry there. This did all right. This did okay. This did not do as good as I thought, but Roger Cage starting with a 55 is pretty good. This didn't do well at all. Goodness. All right. Raven and Misty have, Missy have great chemistry working together. And the Raven heel turn is building. Force at a medical facility. Uh, Valentine teaming up with Jumbo Jackson. Uh, Josh Thompson winning the match. Uh, Colossus beating Danny Rushmore. Cerberus announcement got a 78. Nice. Okay, Rick Law and Trent Schaefer do well on the mic. And then once again, Trent Schaefer not great in the ring. Uh, Caulfield underperformed, but just talking about rich money. It's enough to build that up. Hey, that did real well. 
There you go. We definitely need better announcers in color. I think we're getting murdered there. And we lost popularity again. This is goddamn bullshit. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Danny Jaleski is a 68 and Emily McQueen's a 75. So are there any announcers better than a 68 to start? Peter Michael's available. Durr. I knew that. Thanks, Terror. And because I do like El Medico, he's not going to get a push, unfortunately. Oh, can't sign him. Sorry. Can't sign El Medico. Let's look over those owner goals again. Casey Valentine has to get over. Joss has to get over. Rick Law has to get over. And no luchadors. No spot monkeys, no psychopaths. I believe we, yeah, okay. He's... Man, we're gonna get Adrian Garcia. I think Belle Bryden's good enough on her own to be color, but let me see if I could grab Adrian. Yeah, like a 78 isn't like markedly better than a 75 and this is i feel like much better uh with emily like it still keeps the very low as long as emily and bell are there so that's kind of what i'm banking on of those two being together Yeah, Belle's actually real good. I like I like the addition of her to the booth. It's a nice touch. Uh, what do I want to do with Gargantuan? Like he is not good by any stretch of the imagination. But he has, like, amazing menace. I don't believe he's over. Uh, no. He is not over. So I'm just going to put him in menace. I'll probably drop Emily as soon as I get the chemistry of Peter and... Oh my goodness, Peter and Bell up. Oof. That's not a bad idea. Having a developmental in general is not a bad idea. I think that was something that we were going to do on this stream. So let's do the thing before we lose national. Which might happen very soon.
All right, so we'll make a SCCW. Already using that, good. All right, so for a trainer, I would love to bring in Flash. Oh, don't. Oh, that's right. Flash is a, uh, hmm. Okay. Oh, he's so good though. All right. Maybe, uh, do we have anyone on our roster who would be a good development trainer? Uh, not really. Ah, good call out. Eric Tyler would be a fantastic development trainer. Okay, so. Uh, a couple people I need to bring in. Because I always bring them in. One, Ade. Uh, two, Alan Parrot. That's it. If anyone has any suggestions on workers who they would like to see in developmental. Child company is the one that runs itself, right? Yeah. Owner should be. Ooh, Whistler is a fun owner. Why not? And. I kind of like the idea of Ed Bonton being down there. Oh, or McFly. McFly being down there would be fun as well. And I'm not going to sign her. So let's see what she can do. Oh, uh, for sure. Ah. Uh, my boy Roderick. All right, not my boy Roderick. Boy Roderick can go kick rocks. Uh, Zavi's already real good. Uh, Roger Cage is running wolf. Okay. And where is Gargantuan? And Julius Moore. How good are you right now? You could be better. Alright. A lot of these guys like Atlas... He's 30. He's over, I guess. Any of this, the, yeah, the, the Canadian guys are real good. Like, Alice is just over, and I want to job him to other people. Just looking through. Charlie Thatcher even over? Yes. Over enough to get jobbed. How good's Corporal Doom stats? Nah. But Danny Rushmore's got decent stats. Let's send him to be a trainer.
Uh, Dusty's 31. Uh, Freddie Datsun, not good enough. We gotta get this over, these guys to be not as over. Alright. I think this is decent. We'll grab some of the uh, Canadian Golden Combat. Canadian Golden Combat? That doesn't feel right. Written. Too old. Oh, uh, Christian Price. Oh, the price is right. Let's see if he'd be willing to go to developmental. All right. It's a bit of a dumb move by him, but sure. I feel like Davis Diderich would be a good pickup as well. Triple I. Yo, Jimmy, hit me with that triple I. Planet and I that would I don't know what that was. Abort abort mission. Uh Isaac Golden. I want you to be so good. Uh, all right, I'm still, I'm going to sign you and get, put you in developmental. All right. Now, is there anyone else? That was a man the call up. That's fine. Skip boo. Uh, not a. Let's get Copperhead. Kind of like him. Um, I feel like Greg Gage is too good already. Uh, Jonah Pilgrim's apparently real good. Uh, Nate DeMarcus is good on the camera. Uh, the Architect is another one who is good on the camera. All right, I think I got enough. So mostly MAW and CGC wrestlers. Yeah, we finished third. Yeah, we sucked. Now we finished first. Yeah, we finished first. I can't read. That's the issue. Why am I getting? Oh, yeah, that's not. Ooh, Ant Man. Uh, Tover Smith. Definitely. Although, what is he? He's a cruiserweight. I don't think Tover works. Wow, we put on this absolute shit shows and still got first. All 
the phone. Stop yelling at me. The meeting was canceled. I hope. I hope I'm not just skipping a meeting. All right. I know that you get that hot check in the phone action live on Twitch, but uh, I just wanted, I, I had a panic attack because it kept yelling at me that I had a meeting right now. Yeah, we do start off with like this real great draw ability. See, and we went up because Emily and Peter have history working together as well. So, so Danny, you, uh, you want to go call these? All right. Nice. Uh, I don't, I mean, I know you're the former owner and everything, but like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to let you go, man. Later, dude. Did we grab Joanne Rodriguez? Not to start, no. We did not. Was it because she was a cruiserweight? Oh, we can sign cruiserweights. Well, it still feels weird, but for the women's division, it's fine. j is going to be a heel. Though, I've not done a heel run with her in a little bit. Go to developmental. Go to developmental. Go to developmental. You have the same face as Ian Identity. Yeah, that would probably be a good thing to do. Where's our Hall of Fame? I don't even know how you do that. Wow, our Hall of Fame sucks. Uh, Jim Force, not yet. No. No. Yes. No. Yes. Not yet. Not yet. Yes. No. Okay. Like, this seems a little bit better, having, like, some of the old people in here who were good once upon a time. And Giant Redwood. I mean, if Giant Redwood's in there, you might as well bloody put... Or, yeah. God damn. Fucking... Put him in. Get him in there. There he is. Peter Michaels. Oh, we got a pay-per-view tonight. Oh, okay. Shit, better, better set up some matches. Uh, okay. 
So it's going to be Nikki Champion and Steve Freely again for the championship. Yeah, it goes by stats, mostly. Uh, and, like, Hayes is only a former one-time minor champion, I believe. Oh, no, Canadian champions are major, but he's only won it once. So, I don't know. Once, once is not good enough. Let's jump right into a... Uh, Freddie Datsun and Just Thompson TV title match. Uh, I am all about giving, like, TV title matches to random people with no real explanation. I am a big fan of that. Uh, Melody's going to come out and cut a promo. Raven's going to be in the promo. And Missy Masterson is also going to be in the promo. And that's the triple threat for the pay-per-view. Let's see if we can hire any local. Uh, no. No one real good. Oh, I didn't know that, Terry King. Thanks. I was unaware. Uh, Rich Money and Merritt come out and I don't even know who is oh is Peter Michaels not The announcer for the TV show, he is just for the events. Nick? Why are you bad? All right. Okay. I'm so glad I picked up on this three segments in and not like 15 segments in <laughs> Malachi Milk is going to be Atlas clean in the middle of the ring That is why Atlas is still on this roster. Uh, James Justice is going to accept the challenge put forth by DC and Eddie. Uh, then we'll have the promo I was going to have with money and merit. I could have kept Danny on as the on-screen uh, authority figure. I don't believe we have one.
Yeah, I really try to avoid the bloated roster issue. So right now we'll have uh, Peter Michaels. Just one announce. Maybe this will be our opening segment. Announcing our main event, which is going to be uh, Rich and Merritt versus Nikki and Steve Freely. So we'll move that up there. Uh, then we need matches. Hey, now what's going on? Uh, Valentine can face. Uh, make muscles. Valentine can get the win after interference but Jumbo Jackson uh, let's give American Patriot a win over Charlie Thatcher. Move that down the card a little bit. Who do we have for local boys? They get Cowboy Buck. Ford Gumble is there. And Jebediah, is, who is Cowboy enough. Let's see. We have a face. A face. And a face. That way we can have our three. We have Cerberus absolutely dominate this team here the team of uh, rain man cowboy buck winchester and jebediah Tyson domination. Actually, what does that help any? Colossus domination. And then the force comes running out. And he's yelling and he's got a mic. And then he challenges Colossus to a match. And that'll be at the pay-per-view. I think the longest game I've done has been like a 12-year game, which was fun, but I don't know if I can do it again.
Oh, we're going to have two tag matches back to back. I did not think this through. Rick Law, Andre Jones, Trent Schaefer. Let's get Zavi in there. It wasn't with the national company, though, so I feel like it's rough. Uh, oh, I, I've done some crazy things. Yes, I have done a G1. I've done... Uh, I did a company where I did two shows a month where each show was a tournament, and the winner of the tournaments got into a final tournament in December... And I did not repeat any of the workers. That was a bloody mess. And the I wish I still had the Excel for that. So that I could show you how crazy that that was. Enigma will be facing rich money at the pay-per-view. Ooh, pardon me. I have a personal game I'm running right now where it's like a super indie company where I'm running as seven people and there's one like major company and then six small companies underneath it in one uh, alliance as an American indie company. So like six territories and then one figurehead company. Uh, that's, that's coming together. I just got past like the formative part of it. Oh my god, Merritt pinned Steve Freely. I mean, alright. Get a little tainted. Fine, but there. Oh, it's a mess. Because you have to, like, if you have nothing to do in that day, uh, and I'm talking about multi-person games, you have to, like, advance, 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 done, advance, 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 you know, like, that could definitely, the, the whole multiplayer aspect of the game can definitely use a facelift if, um, Adam does do a new version, but I mean, they're, it's, I don't think it's really been touched since 2010, right? So it's due. Oh my god, Peter Michaels uh, has an announcement that Merrick Cockloff is going to be added to the title match at the pay-per-view.
Yeah, I freestyle a- angles made it possible for me to like play with Swarly a little easier. And like if freestyle angles existed back when I was doing stuff with other people, it would have been a lot easier to do it with that other person as well because I could have just taken what they said and done it. You know? Wow, that did real well. Uh, Joss getting a win. Setting up the triple threat. Uh, American Patriot getting a big win. Hopefully boosting his overness. Same with Monica and Milk. And speaking of Malachi Milk, he's going to be in a title match. Ah, oh, they got a 77. That didn't do... Casey Valentine's only getting 59s. This did... Surprisingly bad? I guess T-Rex and Colossus pulled it down. Yeah, I mean, night and day. Going back to like play 13 would be, I, I'd be done. I wouldn't do it. I, you know, channel over, all done. Oh, Zavi got a 30. Eek. Ah, oh, come on. And Money and Cockbob got excellent chemistry. Steve Freely, 74. Merit, 79. Ah! Oh, I need to do my production values. Crap, dude. We getting a goddamn beat the flock up. All right, let's do title matches here. All right, Melody, Raven. Missy Masterson. Melody pins Missy Masterson to retain the title. Uh, Raven is then going to lose her shit. And flip out on Missy Masterson. Uh, let's see, we'll jump in and da, 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 let's go right for, I guess the matches that I know I'm doing. So I know I'm going to do uh, Rick Law retaining over Trent Schaefer. And Rick Law getting a win here. And that'll be the end of this feud. Um, I don't know if, like, what I want to do with Casey Valentine because he needs to get over, but he's not good. Maybe I'll just have him cut a promo here. 
on Rick Law and hope that he's good at promos. Uh, I don't mind Trent, but, uh, the, the thing with Trent sh is that he was already in a promo with Rick Law and one of the owner goals was to push Rick Law. So I am just pushing Rick Law into that national title scene, building him up in the silliest way possible. Uh, let's see. The tag match was going to be this. Milk Justice versus The Natural Storm. I can't, I can't do development because I need him to get to a certain overness that he will definitely not get to. Uh, DC is going to pin Malachi Milk. Uh, Rich Money and Enigma. And I'm going to have Rich get the win here. Tainted, but without help from Merit. And then we do the, uh, the story so far with, I would do that, but Rich just got like amazing chemistry with Merit, which I'm not going to use right now. Uh, we have Steve, Nikki Champion. Merrick Cockloaf. And our triple threat for the title. Uh, we have a merit. Nikki Champion and the champion Steve Freely. And we're going to have a botch interference when Rich accidentally hits Merritt. which is going to allow Nikki Champion to pin Steve Freely for the championship. Steve will get over it. Hey, Ryan, how's it going? Oh, I didn't do the uh, Force versus Colossus match, which is going to be a cluster. Do a riled brawl. Uh, let's keep, I mean, we know that Tyson Bane's going to come out, we know that T-Rex is going to come out, 
Chris Crawfield comes out. Ah, uh, Datsun's too old for this spot, though. F it. Andre Jones comes out. Yeah, I mean, money with a, a stable makes a lot of sense, and I don't even think it's something that happened. Uh, I would like Colossus to get, like, a, a real cheap, like, victory here. Yeah, I did not think that that would happen, though. So we'll let the Force get his win. I think I have an idea of what I'm going to do, though. And I think Rich Money will end up with a, uh, a stable as well. Uh, but not the one that you guys are thinking. Joss a match here. Let's see. Oh, hey, all these guys. Rain Man. Welcome to the pay per view. Squashed. All right, let's see how this does. I imagine terribly. That didn't do too bad. Yeah, turn was a complete success. Evil Raven. All right, so I in an extremely short match. We got Joss getting the squash job here. We got Rick Law ending the feud here. Decent little promo. I remember it being like stupid easy back in... Uh, if you're talking strictly to 2016, there was a, uh, I think 1997 save where I was able to put out like 100 rated matches just whenever I wanted. So that was fairly easy to get like B plus A shows, which is, uh, I, it made the game less fun. Well, that guy Milk's already up to a 56, so he's, uh, he did real well in this match. This did not do well. Uh, Force is bad. Colossus is bad. This was a mistake. Wow, the Force is real bad. Uh, money with a big win. This is going to disappoint. Ah, this did all right. Nikki Champion's the champion again. Hey! Yay! I don't, 
I think it was just a bad mod, to be honest, because, like, you put, like, I think it was just, like, Christian and, and some, like, two people who should not have amazing shows. Or, I'm sorry, amazing matches. Maybe it was, like, a 2002 mod. I don't know. I'd have to go back and check if I even still have it. I've... I have, think I bought TW like four times legit because every time I switch computers instead of just uh, moving it over, I'm like, eh, I'll just buy it again, whatever. I think I moved it once. Back in the day with like TW 2013, I used to move it all the time. But it's a bit of a pain in the ass to do so. Since you mentioned the word perfect show, uh, chat, what's your thoughts on the perfect show theory? I kind of like it, and I'm a fan, but I know a lot of people aren't. Oh, Novak went to RAPW. Good. You steroids there. Mm, production, that's what I needed to do. It's not here. Who is Brock Cornish? Oh, the announcer that I'm not using because he's not great. Can I send you to develop announcing skills? Yeah, so the perfect show theory is like you want to build up like a crescendo and then kind of tone it down, build up and tone it down and build up to the conclusion. Uh, books kind of work the same way where it's, you know, rising action, rising action, rising action, climax, conclusion. I don't know how much of that was actually caught by the camera, I realize now. <laughs> But that's fine. I don't even know if I have it on here. I like flip flop back and forth because I, as much as I enjoy it, especially for on camera games, it can be a bit a bit difficult to continue to run with. Let me see. I think it, yeah, crowd management. That's perfect show, right? Yep. So I have it off. Oh, most of it was caught by the camera. See? It's almost as if I've been doing this for a long time, and I still have no clue what I'm doing. I mean, as you can tell, I ignore the left-off complaints, especially, like, with, like freely... Is the only one here who I'm like, all right, I obviously need to hook you up with some quiche. There you go. I believe I turned it off. Be 
because of playing with Swarly. And I think I made that decision, so it's not like Swarly was like, oh, turn it off. But, like, I think I was just like, I don't want to have to deal with this, to be honest. Because a lot of our saves, we're just kind of doing fantasy booking. We're like, like the TNA one, we, like, a lot of that is not simulation stuff. Oh, no. Oh, that's legitimately sad. Poor Rip. Poor Jay. Let me see. Eh, I'll leave it. What is it? I see I don't do Twitch well because someone died and I should have been like, Oh put put K's in chat for ripcord or something like that. I rip cord, eh, eh, good one, good one, terror. Let's, let's see what you did there. Mm. Ooh. How over are you? I would like you. What? what do you have better? Four years, 9,000. Fine. I'll offer you four years then. I have to sign mainstream after Ripcord died, right? Also, mainstream would fit perfectly into the, uh, sorry, stable that I'm building up. What? Oh, thanks, Atlas. No, oh, thanks, Roger. It's uh, very nice of you. All right. Pay-per-view recap. Since that pay-per-view just kind of snuck up on me, I'm not going to change much in the way of... like the actual storylines and stuff I'm just going to kind of keep it going here uh keep everything kind of the way it's been going rich money comes out and uh he says that the lights got in his eyes and that's why he hit merit and he made sure that everyone at that arena was fired and Merritt should get another title shot. And if Merritt doesn't get one, Rich should get another title shot. Uh, Steve Freely comes out obviously upset. He wants his title back. A uh, new champion comes out. He's talking a whole bunch of garbage. Uh, you got... Oh, Enigma is going to come out. 
and cut a promo on Rich Money. And then we need a third man to come out here. And that third man is Rick Law. And this is going to be our six-man tag main event. All right, so Freddie Datsun in the force because the force sucks and I'm going to be moving on from that shortly. We're going to face uh, Zavi and Roger Cage and Roger Cage is going to pin the force and mainly because of how upset I am at that pay-per-view match. That's what I think of you, you fucking force, you. Uh, let's see. Afterwards, uh, we'll have... Tyson... Rex and Colossus destroy the force. And then Chris Caulfield will come out and Andre Jones will come out. And it's just like the uh, pay-per-view. do Chris Caulfield and Andre Jones taking on Tyson Bain and T-Rex and Chris Caulfield is going to beat T-Rex hopefully with interference by American Patriot. Yeah. All right. That actually went through. Oh, boy. Uh, Melody's going to cut a promo. And I think Evil Raven's going to cut a promo. Is there a more evil raven picture? Nope. Then we'll just have raven go over a face. So the 2004 uh, mod is actually real good. I don't think I've ever played with it. I'd love to give it a shot. I'd love to give it a try. Give Joss and Malachi Milk a match here. The television title. Um, Josh will get the win, but it'll be open.
any uh, DC and Justice have a promo together where they agree to have another match. Because of mutual respect. I don't think that's crazy, man. Pushy, you like. I've been pushing Miz since before, like, this whole revitalized run with him. So, go for it. Uh, Jumbo and Valentine. We'll say you can face DC and Eddie. And let's give Casey a flash pinfall victory. But it's not for the titles. Yeah, I liked Miz since I basically started watching wrestling, which was like 07, 08. Here's a promo with Sad Trent Schaefer. So 3v3 we got Rich Merritt Rick Steve uh, da -da 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 -da, Nick Champion who is the champion and where's Enigma Give Merritt a win because he hasn't had one. Uh, he could pin Rick Law. Open. Uh, this would be our storytelling match here. Because it's Raven being evil. And then Nikki Champion and Steve Freely Brawl. See, Miz in 2011 was like when I was all about Miz. I need some of these like bad people to turn face to be honest like tribal warrior if you could turn face that'd be great Uh, Tribal Warrior, you can beat Dusty Dakot in like a minute. Alright, 
let's have tribal turn face. Tribal warrior accepts Hall of Fame induction. Right, pay-per-view recap gets a 92 that gets a 90 so rick law can be in our main event scene hmm oh no Robbie and roger don't work well as a team hey ugh Oh, wow. So Tribal Warrior isn't great, but at least now he's a face, so he will have a face jobber. Let's all ignore the continuity error here. Oh, that did all right. That did less all right. Mm, this is not a great show. No, this is not a great show at all. Ooh. This did well. Oh, boy. That's not good. How bad is a distracted thigh muscle? Yeah, I'm putting Casey with Jumbo at least to start as, like, the um, shitty heel. CNR's uh, shitty heel kind of with a, a big powerhouse. Working through it. I guess I should have just gone to medical then. Uh, five days. Ah, oh, that ain't, that's not even a problem. What are you offering them? 10? Here's 12. For 7. Please come over. Did they match the 12? No, they did not. Bidding against myself. He better sign. I will be very upset if he does not.
Yeah, it was rough. Rough day Sunday. For wrestling. Oh, no. So, for the rest of the week, I'm thinking either tomorrow or Thursday, around the same time, we'll do a stream. Uh, and then maybe a weekend stream or maybe a Friday stream. Friday's part of the weekend. Who knows? Oh, uh, did he sign? No, he didn't. Okay. Um, I think two to three a week is going to be what I set my goal at, but the consistency just won't be there because of other obligations in my life. I'll try and make it a little bit more consistent, but probably not going to be able to do it. Handsome Stranger is deceptively good. I think he would have done well if he stayed in uh, SWF. He, he could have... Oh, that's weird. But we got mainstream. So we don't get him for 21 days. And TCW just, uh, like, dropped. So I could grab Nate Johnson from him if I wanted to. Uh, he's real good at, like, the basics. Ah, oh, thank you, Ryan. I appreciate that. And I will always upload stuff uh to the youtube after i'm done and hopefully i'll remember to highlight it as well so i don't lose it um i think it'll eventually be two days of tw one day of something else whether that's like uh jackbox with other people i know or like we weird games with people i know like like party type games or, or trivia type games or whatever or just like futzing around in fire pro or what have you um let's see i think i am going to leave it off here because i was slightly under the weather but hang around let's see Let's see who's available to to raid. I need to mute this here. Um, see if anyone else is playing TW on Twitch. One of these days, it's actually going to happen. Swarley's the man, and uh, I'm just lucky to be able to, to, to do stuff with him. He's such a cool dude. Uh, I am the only one live playing TW Fire Pro. Uh, I don't see anyone I know who is on Fire Pro. I don't. I'm always concerned with going to random people because I don't know if they're. But let's see. Is this guy live at least? Uh, it looks live, so we're going to jump over to Lanky Lefty, and say hi to him, and then I am probably going to be going to bed soon. But uh, thanks for coming out. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys a little bit later. 
Have a good one. Uh, it would help if I could actually do things correctly. Uh, have a, have a good, there we go. Have a good one.